Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Michael Villapondo. I am the NCOIC for the High Frontier Honor Guard at Peterson Air Force Base. You know, the way we talk about things around here in Honor Guard is everything's adaptability. So we want to make sure that everybody's adapting to change with everything happening currently with the pandemic. Change. Cut. It is not an easy task for these guys when they come in, but having to structure them and showing them a different side of the Air Force that a lot of people don't get the opportunity to do. And the other aspect is very rewarding um, and hopefully get something great out of it. I've honestly had no idea what I was getting myself into. I walked in through those doors and the first thing they say is, do not walk on training floor. I was like, okay, cool, don't walk on training floor. Yeah, so day one definitely took me back to boot camp days, having to learn everything over again. Uh, it's pretty tough, like all the facing movements are different. Go back. Blank. Oh, it's better. We got a lot closer during COVID because we checked in twice a day, every day, even uh, during the holidays, on, even on the weekends as well. And uh, we just pre pretty much were there for each other. Our tour got extended uh, due to COVID because there were so many unknowns out there, so it was what got extended. And so we started very good. Uh, before, we were doing firing parties, we were doing uh, pretty much a seven-man team, and then now we're just down to a two-person uh, flag folding ceremony. I just feel like not being able to have the full seven-man detail it feels like we're not giving the full honors, but we are. Even though we're sending less people, we're still sending the same amount of respect. It's not the same as before the lockdown. Before the lockdown, big gatherings, lots of people, but now it's just limited to, to how, however many the CDC says. We feel like we're a entity of the Air Force that provides, you know, we're the last thing that most families see when they're burying a loved one or if somebody's retiring, it might be the last thing that they get to experience from the military. So we, we take pride in the big impact of what we do and we want to make people to understand that, you know, the things that we do in Honor Guard um, affect everybody. You know, not just the people that come in to these doors on day one and train and, and get that BMT environment where they get the structure, but you know, to understand that these men and women that we get have worked very hard and understand, you know, not it's not about just them; it's about our community and the, and the ones that have fallen. You still put the the passion behind uh, the funeral speeches and, and the retirement speeches. And at the same time, it's just, some of it's lost within the mask. On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Air Force. And a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved ones, honorable and faithful service. So our mission never stops, no matter the type of ceremony, severity of the temperature, or the size of the crowd. So we wouldn't stop for COVID-19 either.